Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on working with numbers in Small Basic. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show, remind you of what we did in our previous lesson. So what we've got here is we've got our new program. We've got to write out what you want their name to be and we're storing whatever is typed in at this point into name. Okay. Now, <clears throat> To repeat that back, I used concatenation. So that's what we've done in some of our previous lessons. If I was to run that, ask me my name, and it's output on the screen as shown. Going back, so I got to delete that. And this time, in this lesson, we are going to do something with numbers. So you can, believe it or not, I can do number equals math dot round and what I can do is I can round numbers down so I can do 5.99 okay so I can round that number and what I can do is I can go text window dot write all right in brackets I'm going to put number let's see what it does so this is how we use rounding so you can see it's rounded it to six so let's change this to four nine let's run that and it's rounded it down. So we can use the round feature to round numbers. The other thing we can do is if you want to, you can do remainders. So here I can do my number equals math dot remainder. And I can do 37 divided by five and that, so let's print that out. Text window dot right and my number let's run it so you'll see what was happening here so i'm going to comment this out remember that skill that we learned things that we don't need to use anymore we can comment out so let's run this two so 37 and it showed me the remainder so 37 divided by five and it gives me the remainder all right now just so you can see that we're going to go uh my number two equals equals 37 divided by five text window dot right my number two just so you can see that that works because we can do our basic maths on this and run that and you can see we've got our output there all right so it was 7.4 so i'm going to do x window dot right line by using right line it goes on the line below so if i show you the difference here that's now put that on the line if i do a text window dot right line you can see it puts the new line in that's why we use it so we've got here remainder that we've learned about we've learned that you can do division i can even do addition so that's 42 so that is 37 plus 5 gives me 42 so we've got some basic rounding remainders and we can do addition we can even do multiplication if i did 37 times 5 we use a star to do that that's given me 185 so there are lots of ways that we can do this I could, if I wanted to, at this point, add one to this. All right, let's run that. 186, take that off. 185. So the good thing is you can use mathematical operators to do some mathematical equations. Now, when you do the tasks as part of this, you're going to need to actually be able to understand the maths involved before you can code it. So it's a good idea to plan on paper first. But one of the last things I'm going to show you uh, as part of this video tutorial, and we're going to comment this out, is how to generate a random number. Now, if I wanted to generate a random number between 1 and 20, I can do it quite easily. I'm going to say my random number. So I've created my variable equals math.get random number. So you can click on that. What I'm going to do is put in 20, and I'm going to go text window dot right line 
and my random number. Now, when I run that now, you can see 8, 30, uh, sorry, 3, 15. So this is getting a number between 1 and 20. Now, you may be wanting to do a random number between 30 and 50. Well, if that is the case, you need to work out the range, okay? So how many possible numbers are there between 30 and 50? Well, there are 20, all right? So think about it, 31, 32, 33, 34, all the way up to 50. If you were to count that, there are 20 possible numbers. Well, what all you do is you add 30 onto the outcome. And that would <coughs> give you your range of 20 possible outcomes, but then increase it. So let's see how this works. 41. So you'll notice 43 is our random number. 41. 33. 37. So all you need to do, if you want to do a random number between a specific set of numbers, is you work out how many are in that range. So if there are 20 numbers or 30 numbers, if I wanted to do between 60 and 90, all right, I would say there are 30 numbers, all right, and then I can add 60 to that, all right? That's my starting point. So let's see if that works. 73, 87, 86, 63. You'll notice I'm not going any lower, all right? So you work out how many possible outcomes there are, and you add the number depending on where you want to start, okay? So instead of starting from one, I'm starting at 60, but there were 30 possible outcomes. So I hope that helps you work out how to do random numbers, how to do basic maths, how to multiply. But the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to do text window dot right line. And we're going to see, we're going to say uh, your random number is, and I'm going to remind you how to concatenate that, my random number. And that joins that together. So that should now say your random number is 65. So you can join the text in. That should be useful in helping you out with the, this next lesson on Small Basic. Please take your time, follow the video, and have a look at how you can create random numbers and use mathematical equations. Thank you for watching.